Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. So for swapping the cars, I have added a script, a very simple script. Uh, select cars, and I have placed the script actually inside the same folder, uh, the vehicles and uh, car scripts folder. So it is important because uh, maybe in the future we want to swap some code from other scripts. So for swapping the cars, we will simply <coughs> create some variables, uh, public game object, first car, second car, third car. So actually, I think we can, okay, that's better, first car, second car, then third car. And then we have created a variable with a private int car number equal to one. Initial number will be the one. So we are making function of a next car function and the last car function. So we are seeing that if the car number is less than three, so it is actually limited to three. If you have multiple cars, if you have uh, four cars, five cars, ten cars, you can add that number here. Then we will add a number to the car number. So what will happen that if we are on car one, we will click on the button and we will move to car two and so on. So also we have a display cars function. I will just show you this function in a while. And in the last car function, we are saying that if the car number is greater than one, so if it is greater than one and if we click on the previous button, then car number will be minus from the uh, selected number. So also we are adding display cars function here. So in the display car function, we are saying that if the car number is equal to one, then first car will be active. Otherwise, second car will be non-active and third car will be non-active. If the car number will be two, then the second car will be true. Other cars will be false. And if the car number is three, then the third car will be active and other car will be false. So simply we will move back to our unity, we will select the canvas and on the canvas we will add this select car script and now we have these three, car, uh, these three car slots. So we will move back to car holder, we will just add the yellow player car on the first blue car and the green car to the third. That's it, we can simply play the game and nothing will happen because we didn't have added the function to the button. So move back to our button. So canvas, next button, and we will click on click function to the button. Here we will just drag off the canvas, no function, select car function and next car function. Previous button, on click, drag off canvas, no function, select car and plus car function play the game and hopefully everything will work fine yeah you can see we can change the cars